Hi there, welcome to Campsite Sweden. Or should I say, welcome to Valhall. Because uh, believe it or not, this place where we are right now might actually be what is in old Norse mythology referred to as Valhall. When I came here now, it's it's just uh, there are so many flowers. The, the the ground is just so colorful with flowers and so much insects. So how, how can I say that this might actually be Valhalla? Uh, what you see here, down here. See a small hills here. That is a ship burial, the remnants of, of ship burials. So here, generation after generation, uh, king after king, so to speak, were uh, put to rest in in uh, wooden ships. And right in front of me here is a depression. We can almost see the ship lying here. It's full of flowers. And this ship was probably pulled from the river here. It was sailed from the old Uppsala. Um, and it was sailed here and it was pulled from the river up here. There are 15 graves here. 15 boat ship graves and uh, several hundreds other graves also. And uh, Valhall, as you might know, it was the it was the uh, house of the uh, deceased. And uh, there you could uh, you could party with with Odin. See here, this depression here in the ground. That's where the ship was put to rest. They were put here generation after generation over several hundreds of years. And the ships here, they were pulled up from here. There. Here is the river, the Fyris River. It goes uh, downstream this way, three kilometers downstream here, you have the old Uppsala powerhouse during this time. You have uh, the great grave mounds of old Uppsala, where kings were buried and several thousands of other people in smaller graves. But uh, I, talked, I talked earlier about Valhall and how this place might actually be Valhall. Uh, the reason, as I understand, uh, is part of the name. This, this place is called uh, Valsjärde in Swedish, Valsjärde. And uh, grammatically it's, well, it's, it's, it's a bit similar to Valhall. And, uh, there is also on the in the ancient tales there is um, there are um, stories about a river that takes the uh, that connects the living world from the well from the other side and that would be the Fyris river so <laughs> so 
This might be, um, there, there are some similarities actually that, that tells that this could be Valhall. And is, of course it's a theory, but it's a very in interesting theory. And on the day of the, uh, the burial, the king was, his body was prepared. The great hall at Gamla Uppsala. There was an enormous longhouse placed there that 1,000 years ago. Um, uh, now you can see a plateau where the house once stood. It was an enormous house. The doors were three meters wide and uh, it, it was possibly two stories high and I think 20 or 30 meters long or something. So it was a it was a huge building and the king was he was placed there he was prepared there and um, then um, they prepared the wooden longship for him down at the river and as people stood in sorrow i guess he was uh, carried down to the ship. And the ship was rowed up the river, upstream, three kilometers, down here. And there it was horses pulled the ship over this open area here and they pulled the ship up on this hill and it was put to rest right in front of us here and all around here was people were gathering from all around from this region down the old Uppsala and all around this region people were gathering and uh, when he laid here on the ship in the ship shields were put over his head above his head in the boat and uh, he's um, sword, valuable items, a spear and helmets. There are fantastic artifacts found in this grave here and in the other graves here. Very valuable items. And the horses was prepared. Armor was put on the horses and the horses were put uh, close next to the ship here. And also dogs and meat. Everything you need for, uh, for the next, <laughs> on the other side, so to speak. Um, and there were cauldrons and uh, buckets and uh, drinking horns in glass. Valuable items were put down here. This stone here, where I sat on here, <laughs> this stone actually experienced all this as the ship was pulled up from the river. So if stones could talk, you know, if stones could talk.